Scrap it. Swallowing, breathing, taste, smell, and heart rate. I'm the subconscious mind, by the way. She is the conscious mind. Just <laughs> do that yourself. All right. So. Okay. So you've seen the first question. So. Yeah. What is it? Come on, anyone? anyone I think it's on. the legs, but I'm not sure. It's the brain. The brain controls all the bodily functions. This this thing right here, right? Right. Yes. Okay. Next question. <clears throat> Who is smarter, the conscious mind Me. or the subconscious Me. mind? Me. Come on, I am so much smarter than you. Hey, no fighting, just need an answer. The conscious mind is so much smarter. Okay, and when does the conscious mind show up? What? When does the conscious mind show up? Like, when does the conscious mind actually start, like, Functioning in that When you're awake. Good. Yeah. Okay. Next question. <laughs> question number three. Um, how does the brain control your body? It says, do this. And it doesn't. Your body just does it. Very. Um, wrong. Wrong. No. You? It, it sends electrical signals to the rest of your body. Oh. Okay, I see. So in other words, I poke this thing right here. Pictures of the body with and to see blood flow. Um, okay, you, yes, any other? The fMRI takes pictures of the brain and blood flow in your body, and that's how scientists can see what goes on. So I probably get one of those taken on that, right? Probably. Alright. <laughs> Alright, question number five. What's the main energy of the brain? Yes, you're correct. Any answer? No. no. <laughs> well, school goes. Moving on now. Hang on. Master, keep these things. What controls the cognitive function of the brain? Motorcycle. <laughs> no. That's it's, a meteorite. Right? It's it's not. It's the primary motor motor cortex, and that's what controls the cognitive function. And so my patient is essentially yeah. cured of being disabled, so I just need to jab this place right here, right? Um, I should think we're supposed to be stabbing. It's a scalp. Yeah, right, yes. But a little bit to your right. Right there. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, which one of you does not sleep? I drink too much coffee and happy. Wow, surprisingly, that's, that's, that's right. Good job, everyone. Give it a round of applause. Hey, that was right. What's going on? Okay, that doesn't actually help me. Though. Okay, now the next question. What do scientists use pictures of the brain for? So they can see what outfit looks better on the brain. Mm -hmm. Great. If they take pictures to see which outfit looks better, what they're going to wear today. Yeah, I thought you actually uh, saw something there, but that's. That wrong. You. No, they they have they use the pictures of brain and they compare them to like animal bra brains, and and that's how scientists know what humans do 
Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Lost track there. How does learning affect the brain? Um, I honestly don't know. <laughs> learning. I didn't really have to learn much. Then. A learning is a valuable thing because it um, it constantly increases the the capacity of your brain so you can learn more things. And, and when you learn things, it's good. thing right here. Fine. We're going to carry him. <laughs> 